Unexpected.tv. It's your girl, Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Then I need you to hit thumbs up, all right? Don't forget to turn on your notifications, right? Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag DieCousinGay. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, for me? Sherry do do my, you know. Sherry man, whoosh, bam, mm-mm. Vire lo sumo, bam, whoosh, bam. Oh, I'm feeling that a little bit too much. But you know how we get down, we be like, welcome back, back, hey, back, back, hey. You guys, I'm out of breath, I'm a big girl. Judge a big toe. You feel me? All right. So, um, today, y'all know I'm all about faith, family, and motivation. All right? Today, we are talking about faith and a little bit of motivation. Right? Because your girl got to go pick up her spirits a little bit. All right? So, we about to ride out with Cuzzo today. All right? And we are going to go look at some houses. So, I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car because I need a car man for I pay large fries um, so that we can go ahead and get started on our journey. We're going to go look at about two, maybe two or three houses today. What, what is it? Two or three? Two. Two. All right. Two. Doblo, doblo. All right. Okay. So, but we got to go. Let's go. All right, y'all. We in the wheel. Safety first seatbelt on. I'm going to be ready. The only reason I got my seatbelt on is because that thing would have been beep, beep, beep. Beep. And yeah, it would have got aggravating. Um, it feels good not having to drive. Because <laughs> you know that's what I do for a living, y'all. So, I drive. So, it kind of feel good to be in the passenger seat. Um, but y'all, so as I said earlier, we are getting ready to go look at some houses, right? Um, because sometimes in order to increase your faith, you have to allow yourself to be exposed to something higher of where you're at um, or where you've been or what you know, right? So, I've been living on my own since, what, 18? I'm now 33. Um, and, yeah, I just want to do different, right? So, I'm, I'm preparing myself for a house, right? So, with that being said, huh? It's making us take Oakland Park straight down. So, this one's on Oakland Oh, Bayview? Yeah. yeah, that is. That's towards the beach. Um, You see? You see? I, I know where I'm at, right? Yeah. She looking at me like, how, how you? But anyways. So, but sometimes our faith is limited because of the lack of exposure. Right? Um, But what, what frustrates me right and me included y'all me included cousin because y'all know i never exclude myself from anything that i tell y'all okay half the time i be coming for myself but praise the lord okay but um what frustrate me is when we can allow people to limit us where we can allow people to tell us um what we can and cannot get all right now don't get me wrong yes obey the laws of the land yes principle yes wisdom you get what i'm saying because one thing y'all always hear me say is whatever you're asking god for yeah you got to prepare for it right so that everything can align and it could be easy but then there's some times where the things don't come into alignment and it just be straight favor it just be straight glory right it just be straight god just showing out so what am i saying um you know, that person that told you that you'll never own, you'll never have any assets, you'll never have any of this, you'll never amount to nothing. Tell them they could tell the lie that they have allowed the devil to speak into their mind to speak. That, tell them they could choke on it. Tell them they can choke on it, okay? Um, I don't know, this is going to help about... Um, 1300 of my cousins in the YouTube world okay it's gonna help about 1300 of y'all okay because it's real because we take sometimes I, and I want y'all to hear my heart I know you honor that person I know you value that person right but let me ask you this do they honor you and do they value you because sometimes 
we hold on to the words of people who doesn't even mean us any good. They like to keep you around. Oh, this is for somebody for real. They like to keep you around because of how you honor them. Because how you reverence them. Because how you make them look, right? Because they know that they can walk all over you, right? Why? Because you make them look good. Stop letting people limit you. Stop letting people put a, a lid over you. Stop, stop letting people tell you what your capacity is. God goes from glory to glory to glory. And if we are heirs of God, then we too shall go from glory to glory to glory. But that's if you want to. So, I need y'all to declare this with me. That I come out of agreement. With every limitation, with every barrier, with every blockage that has came by the way of conversation with the people that I so-called value. Lord God, remove the limits. You said I am the head, I am above. I am the lender and not the bar. I command my mind to shift into alignment with greater. I command my subconscious to come into alignment with greater expansion, greater in Jesus name. But anyways, praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. But now y'all, I got my fries and my frappe. You know I love y'all, but no. If you could see it, if you can envision it and you can see it, you can touch it and you can achieve it. This is how I increase my faith. I go look at these houses. Who was you to tell me? I can't live in one of these neighborhoods. I mean, I like the lake in the back, but cause you know, I'm thinking about the flood insurance. My, 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 my kids know how to swim. But uh, I'm just thinking about the flood insurance, okay? But um, that just making mortgages go high. Praise the Lord. Cause uh, FYI, okay? The closer you live the water, the higher your flood insurance is, okay? Um, but yeah, I like I'm um, listen. So y'all gonna get a lot because we finna go look at some houses, and y'all know I love my Benz. I love the Mercedes Benz. I want to go drive an electric Mercedes Benz. This is how I increase my faith. Why? Because now when I go look at these establishments, when I go, you know, when I go look and see, or when I go test drive, guess what? <coughs> it puts a deeper hunger in me to do what I need to do so that I can achieve what it is that I want to achieve. All right. But y'all know it's faith, family, and motivation in that order. I'll be back. You want some fries? Here, baby. Here.
Alright y'all, we are at house number two, okay, and um, house number one did it for me, okay, y'all see her, I think the people thought I was a realtor, I'm not a realtor, I sure am not, <laughs> I leave that to y'all beautiful people, because it looks stressful to me, praise the lord, I'm just a people's person, and y'all know me, I love having a good time, but um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we had house number two. Um, I would show you outside, but they didn't cut the grass. So, let's go. Where do we go in at? Oh, okay. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Oh y'all, it's beautiful in here. Yes, it is. Hi. Hi, everybody right there. This is beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay, that house is very beautiful. The second house. I'm still stuck on the first house. I did I really real deal like the first house. Like for real. Like it was sexy. It was, it was everything. Was, Even the driveway. Did you get the driveway? Yeah. Okay. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god. Like, this is why you have to know. This is why I say this is this is this is a, the rawest true definition of write the vision and make it plain, right? Because whatever it is that you desire in a house, write it down. Know what you're looking for because there's going to, but you want to write down the core of what you need in the house. Whether it's cabinet space, whether it's room space, 
um, open concept, whatever it is that you desire, write it down. Because when you don't have an idea of what you're looking for, you're going to be all over the place, all right? Now, I already know what I'm looking for, all right? It's me, my husband, and our two kids for now, right? Um, our two kids for now. But, however, I do want... Um, I do need a studio space for when I do my sit down um, vlogs or you know when I'm doing the podcast you get what I'm saying even when I'm doing my coaching sessions um, for co NQ 2190 all right and um, I do know when it comes to the candles I already know I want a separate studio um, that I can go to for that but however, you know, do not despise small beginnings, but I know I need space to do it because, you know, doing it in my apartment, baby, I be taking up the whole dining table, I be taking up the kitchen, and I need, I need to be able to put my equipment different places. So, um, yeah, don't settle. Know what you want. Know what you want. Know where you want to live. Know what you want to drive. Know what, what, what type of income, you know, that you want to, um, bring it to fruition right because y'all know i'm bougie okay i'm bougie i'm humble but i'm bougie i like nice things um because i spend a lot of time in the home so yes i will invest in my home um when i like to step out you know and i like i remember my ex always used to say that listen i dress to impress everybody and nobody okay i dress to impress everybody and nobody and and you know I, I understood what he was saying because I really don't do it for y'all is what I like you get what I'm saying it's what I like it's what I like to wear it's what I like to drive it's like where I like to eat what I like to live in right stop making people make you feel some type of way because of the things you prefer okay my preference is my preference Bobby Brown said it's my prerogative period okay but um, I'm really feeling that first house Woo, I'm really feeling that first house, guys. Jesus, won't he do it? But, um, yeah, so let's go, y'all. Y'all, I'm sitting here. I was about to start talking to sit, um, Cuzzle, and I was like, you know what, no, let me, let's talk about this. Like, why do we limit ourselves for real? When you look at everything that you want to do, right? Everything that is real different. Okay. When you look at oh. everything you want to do, everything you want to pursue, right? We allow fear to rob us. We allow, we limit ourselves and we make all these excuses, right? But, but there's a desired way that we want to live and with our short time here on earth short time say that again because people think we be having a lot of time i don't know why like the short time we here on earth we have on earth because at the end of the day if nothing gets accomplished if nothing gets done who fault is it you can't blame the next person you can't blame the next person especially when you didn't even get up to make an attempt to pursue it you didn't even make an attempt to pursue it Y'all, if I'm really to go into depths of what I really want to do, the things I want to pursue, you'll think I'm crazy. You think I, you would think I'm crazy. You would think I'm crazy. Like, for real. For real. So I need y'all to ask yourself, cuzzo. And I need y'all to get in the comment section, right? One, I need to tell me which house you like. All right? One house one or house two or house three if we do a third house um but i really want y'all to comment below what is a what what is causing you to limit yourself is it your mind is it your perspective because perspective is is everything like you know like lately i've been hearing you could look at a half a cup of glass and and it's only your perspective you could say it's half empty or you could say it's half full it's all on how you look at things so is it your perspective is it your mind what is what is causing you to limit yourself what is causing you to restrict yourself all right um do you have that victimized mindset be real with yourself now be real with yourself um 
And if you bold enough, I need y'all to comment below what is holding you so that you know I'm done with you. So, so that you know um, what is holding you back so that you can expose it and be set free from it. And y'all already know, cuz I'm finna, hey, Shaban Demihu, Raman Messiah. Y'all know I'm finna go into prayer. You feel me? Um, because we gotta hold each other accountable. Um, yeah, I'm holding you accountable today, cousins. So comment below, what's holding you back? What's holding you back? And if you are inspired in any way by today's video, I need y'all to go ahead and hit the thumbs up right now. Smash it! Smash upon the like button. Oi! Smash it! You got to ping a liking it. Oh my God. Bing, I'm liking it. Yes. <laughs>